What's up guys, Alex here, and we're back with buying your first motorcycle. As you can see this time, we are not in the truck. We are on the cell phone, but we're not in the truck. I promise I'm buying a new camera soon. I promise, promise, promise. We'll get there. But this time, we're in my garage. As you can see, I'm a motorcycle nut job. So there you have it. So it's time to get to the point that everybody's probably been waiting for of what would I recommend to actually buy for your first time motorcycle. So this is going to go two different directions. This video is going to be the first time motorcycle for the sport bike guy. For the sport bike guy. So you sport bike guys out there, you want your first motorcycle and you want to get a sport bike, which is awesome. But if you have friends that have bikes, they're going to tell you to get a bike that's too big. Don't listen. This bike, you have to keep in mind, is your first one. You're going to learn on it. You're going to get used to the sport of motorcycling with it. Um, and then if you want a bigger bike, if you end up loving this, trade it later, sell it, get a bigger bike later. But this time, get a smaller bike. It's going to be better to learn. If you drop it, you're not going to be near as sad. And it's going to be cheaper. So these are the bikes we want to look at. And as I go through them, I'm going to put a little picture up somewhere here of each one. Okay? So five bikes if you're a first time sport bike guy. If you are a small to normal size person, guy, girl, whoever, small to normal size, look at and sit on a Ninja 250 slash Ninja 300, CBR 250 slash CBR 300, and a Yamaha R3. So that's Kawasaki Ninja 250 slash Ninja 300, depending on what year, CBR Honda, 250 or 300 or Yamaha R3. If you're a small to normal sized person, look at those. If you're a bigger person, just have to have a little bit bigger bike. If those bikes make you feel like a monkey humping a football, look at and sit on a Ninja 500, that's a Kawasaki, and a Honda CBR 500. So we're going to go through that again. Okay. So, five bikes, sport bikes, for beginners. Please don't buy a 600 or a 1000 or anything like that. If you've got sport bike people, friends, they're going to tell you, get you a 600 because if you get a 250, you're going to be sick of it in a couple of months, you know. That's fine. This bike is for you to learn on and get used to riding and practice with. In a few months, if you think you need a bigger bike, you're that comfortable, trade it for a bigger bike, but please start small. Most of the best riders I know started small. Yeah, you might get sick of it in a little while, but trade it later. Start small. So, Kawasaki Ninja 250 or 300, CBR Honda 250 or 300, Yamaha R3, Kawasaki Ninja 500, Honda CBR 500. There are other good bikes out there. There are some other good small bikes out there. Those are just my top five recommended from doing this for 10 years. I had a Ninja 250 first, then I had a Ninja 500, then I had a Ninja 600, and the sky is the limit. Now I'm riding one of those most of the time. That's a victory. So that's my recommendation, top five sport bikes for beginners. I'm gonna put the pictures up there all throughout the video as I was mentioning them, and right here at the end, I'm going to put all five pictures up again, just examples of them. Whether you're looking private party or at a dealer, you can find these bikes. So, and I'm going to do the whole private party buying and a dealer buying video after all this. But next video after this one will be my top five recommendations for a beginner cruiser. But those were my top five recommendation for a beginner sport bike. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're digging what we're doing and stay tuned for more stuff. Thanks, guys. By the way, once again, I'm absolutely terrible at reminding you to like and subscribe if you like the videos. I'll put out tons more. So stay tuned, like, subscribe. Thanks.